Got it. All right, perfect. We are on. Sweet. Hello, everyone. My name is Rochelle. And I'm Devin. And we are your trainers at F45 Kids Point. Before we get started, just a quick introduction. So I'm also the dietitian at Choices Kids Alano. So now I'm kind of pairing the two together. So we're going to break down F45 for you guys and kind of tell you how it works. So F45 is a functional workout that is 45 minutes. So we have a mixture of cardio-based workouts and a mixture of resistance-based workouts. Now, this type of workout is good for everyone. So we can make exercises easier. We can make them more difficult. So if you have some weights available to you today, feel free to grab them and then increase the weight of your exercises. But however, today we're going to make it easy for everyone to um, do it just body weight. So today is just going to be body weight and you guys can push yourself. We're going to give you regressions and also make it a little bit more challenging if you want that extra push. All right, Devin, come on in. Okay, so I'm going to be explaining our workout today. So as Rochelle said, it is 45 minutes. Uh, we've got a, a no weight, so body weight exercises. We've got a bunch of lower body, but we do have some arms and core in there as well. So we're going to get a great full body workout. What it's going to be is always 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're going to go through a little bit of a different pod each time. So our first pod, we're going to work uh, two exercises back to back a couple times as a superset. We're going to do that twice. Then we're going to move on and we're going to do the same exercise three three times before moving on to the next one. Finally, our last pod is going to be that same superset as before. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, back to back on a couple of the same exercises to really complement uh, the muscle groups. Perfect. So we're going to run you through all the exercises we're going to do today. The first one is an alternate single leg deadlift. So at this one, as we go down, we want to focus on our balance, coming all the way to the floor, keeping our back nice and flat and then shooting back up. For an extra challenge here, again, grab a weight and keep on going. Awesome, our next exercise is a lunge with a 45 degrees. So we're gonna stand nice and square here, but then we're gonna step to 45 degrees and come back. You can place your hands up here if you'd like. If you have weights, you can always grab them as well. Perfect, next one is 10 push-ups and two shoot-ups. So with those push-ups, you wanna keep those arms by our side here. Go all the way down to the floor to make it a little bit easier. Drop down onto those knees. And for those shoot-ups, we're starting in a high plank. Bringing those feet up, and we can either bring our hands up like so, or just dump those feet. Also, you can take up the jump and just step. Awesome. Our next exercise is six shoot through. So we're going to start in an all fours position here. We're going to shoot our leg through, and then back right to the fours position, and through again. That counts as two. So we're going to do six of those, and then we're going to do a moving plank. So we're going to step out to a full plank, come down to your elbows, and then back up to your hands. That's one. And then we'll do the next one as well. Perfect. Next exercise, we are doing a bodyweight lying scap. So we are going to lay on our stomach here, keep our arms out and straight in front of us, and then we're going to pull back, contracting our back to the very end, keeping those arms quite close to the floor here. If you want to increase the resistance, you can also grab on some, to some nice light weights there and just focus on that nice slow contraction as you pull your arms back. Awesome. Our next exercise here, we've got a reverse lunge and pause. So again, we're going to stand square, but I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. We're going to step back nice and low here, heavy in that front foot, knee over ankle and stand up. And then we're going to switch sides here. We're going to find a pause at the bottom before standing back up. If you have weights again, you can hold them there. Perfect. Next exercise, we are doing two push-ups and two hip thrusts. So again, like I mentioned before, with those push-ups, keep our arms close by our sides. Bring our chest all the way to the ground, make it easier, drop down to those knees. Then you're going to flip on your back and do two hip thrusts, making sure our lower back touches the floor and we extend our hips all the way up. Okay, our next one is a squat pulse. So we're going to get nice and low here in our squat position. Hands can be out here or right in front of you and we're just going to pulse heavy through the heels, stay nice and low. Perfect. Next one, we are doing a frog squat with a pause. So we're using our elbows, pushing onto our knees and we're going to be dropping our hips down and then popping them back up, then coming back down and popping back up again from the side, just like that. Okay, next one, we've got a sumo squat with that same pause. So toes are gonna turn out. We're gonna come nice and low. This is a wider stance than normal. We're gonna find a pause at the bottom and then stand up, squeeze right here. You can always grab a weight as well. Perfect, next one, we're doing some ab work with five jackknives 
and five crunches. So with those jackknives, our legs are straight and we're gonna crunch up and touch our toes. We are completing five of these. And then place our feet on the floor and we are doing five crunches, really bringing our shoulders all the way up, driving that core contraction there. Awesome, and our final station here is a plank and rotation. So we're gonna get onto our elbows here. What I want you to think about is your shoulders over top of your elbows, core tight here. We're going to slowly twist all the way up and then come back through and then the other side as well. What we don't wanna do is collapse through our back in between. So really think about performing in your core and not letting your back fall down. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna lead you through the warm up now, get our whole bodies warm before we jump into these exercises. So just follow along and let's get to it. We're gonna play some music, so listen along. Okay, let's start with some high knees here. And then we're gonna switch that to a glute kick as well. So high knees up in front, and then you're gonna switch, kick your butt. Get that heart right up there. This is fun. <laughs> and you can also take out that jump, of course, and just do that. All right, next, we're doing some prisoner squats, hands up by our head, got some nice depth here. Nice and low, but that knee is not touching the floor. 
As you come back up, you're pushing that weight through your heel to explode back up to a nice standing position. Keep rubbing this out. Again, if you have some weights near you, grab onto some weights, make it a little bit more difficult. Keep it up, guys. Let's go. Almost there. <laughs>
in. So you're stepping or jumping your legs in as well. If you don't want to do push-ups from your toes, you're very welcome to do them from your knees. And notice she's doing our step-in option here. You've got this, Rochelle. Stay in it. Almost there. Almost there. Three, two. You got this, guys. Nice. What was that? I know. <laughs> Dumbbells are not working. Dumbbells are not working. Dumbbells are not working. 
jumps out and it doesn't roll. Let's try it again. Oh, you got it, you got it. I don't think my back is made for you. You got it, you got it. Nice and stable, nice and stable. You got like the best glassware ever on your back here, everyone. Keep it up, three more seconds. <laughs> so good. Guys, grab some water. That was our first pod. You should be feeling warm. I know I'm sweating by doing half of it, so I can't even imagine what it's like doing all of it. All right, make sure we hydrate. Now you brought your water. Amazing. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. All right. Make sure we bring the heart down. If you guys are still feeling a little bit tight, stretch out. Remember, push it to your full capacity, but don't push too hard. If you have a shoulder injury, don't push it. If you have a knee injury, don't push it. Do what's comfortable for you guys. And if you do come into the studio and try to work out in person, that is what we're here for. We're here to watch your form. Make sure you're doing it right. Wish we could be there watching your screens right now. All right, and if you have any injuries, we like to modify things. So again, if you got that injury, you can't do something, and you're okay with that, we'll modify it for you. Oh, yes. All right, I'm hopping in this one first. So Rochelle is gonna come down for it, lying sub stack. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah. yeah, perfect. So what she's doing right now is she's engaging her back to lift her upper body off the ground, and then using these muscles right here to pull her elbows toward her back, and then releasing them forward. So this takes a lot of work here. If you have very, very, very light weights, you can add them, but this is great without weight. This is one of my favorite exercises for body weight exercises. You're almost there, you've got five seconds left. She's not letting her upper body drop down. She's really squeezing and engaging those muscles. Nice work. Woo! All right, guys, I'll show you an example of what the weight looks like that if you'd like to push yourself, you can grab onto. So in our studio, we have lots of things to make it a little bit challenging. So Devin, would you like to try the plates out or should I do it next time? I'll do it next you time. You are welcome to do it. All right, Dev, on the ground, we're doing the same one. Same one. All right, guys. Good. Pull those things back. Let's go. Good work, Dev. Keeping that chest up. We're pulling ourselves back. Remember this one, we are pushing ourselves a little bit harder because we're doing these ones back to back. We wanna make sure we got that full burnout here. Good work, keep pulling. Really contracting those back muscles, drawing those elbows all the way back as you can. All right, good job guys. We're heading into our very last set here. So I'm gonna challenge myself. Maybe I'll drop the weight if I have to but I got some 1.25 kgs. We make it a little bit more difficult. Right. Yeah. She's got this. Remember, even if you start with weights and you want to go for that challenge, but you notice your form starts to suffer halfway through the set, you can always drop the weights or go a little bit lighter, maintain that really good form and still work those muscles. So right now you can see this example with the weights as well. She's really contracting here to squeeze back. She's engaging, she's breathing here, which is a very important part. Sometimes when things get hard, we tend to hold our breath. Don't do that. Always keep the breath flowing. We've got about 13 seconds here, Rochelle. Can you make it with the weights? I think I you can. I, I think know. you can. You've got under 10 seconds. She's really going. Remember, we don't have to do this exercise again. Let's keep it up. Three, two, one. Nice. Woo. All right, great guys. That is the end of that one. We never have to do that one again. Moving on to that next exercise. Dev is going to start us off. Woo. Awesome. So this is a great one. If you want to grab some weights, you're very welcome to as well. All right, 40 seconds of work. Devin is going into some reverse lunges, making sure that knee does not touch the ground, but it's hovering really, really close. She's getting that full depth here. Good. The biggest thing too is working on stability because we are just dropping onto that one leg for a split second there. She's staying nice and stable. Notice she's alternating legs each time. She's going to her right, she's going to her left, she's getting that even level of work here. Keep it up, Deb, you guys are killing it. Woo! Get that nice burn in my booty. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'm gonna finish the one, I gotta be even, okay? 
Okay. <laughs> okay, right. shall we go in weights? I'm going to go in weights. Going a little bit heavier here. Nice. So we're doing the same thing again. Remember, for this pod, we are doing it three times before moving on to the next exercise. Okay, Rochelle, let's go for it. So another really important thing I want you to notice here is she's keeping her legs on two tracks here. She's not trying to walk a tightrope. It's gonna make us super unbalanced. What she's doing here is, what she's doing here is stepping back and keeping her leg on the same plane. I always imagine two train tracks versus a tightrope. Engage your core. What we don't wanna do is lose our balance when we're stepping back. So try to keep your hips nice and level here. Make it a little bit more difficult by pulsing at the very bottom Again, with the machine. She's adding a pulse. Woo. There it is. See that nice little pulse at the bottom? Just one or two. Press it back up. It's going to make it a little bit harder. Oh, baby. That's nice. It. Okay, now I got to do that too, though. I can't let you. Deb's got to up me. I got to up her. No. <laughs> she's going to pulse that whole time. Oh, okay, she is. She's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. All right, straight into it, guys. Back into it. 40 seconds on. Okay, so this is just an option. You're welcome to pulse, but you're welcome to maintain those step back lunges, alternating legs. I'm going to go for 20 seconds on one side and then switch sides. Good job. Staying nice and low here. Notice she's doing those static lunges here, but she's not coming up the whole time. She's Staying nice and low with just those little pulses. Keep it up, Devin. Get that nice burn here. We got 10 more seconds, guys. Don't stop. Let's go. We love a good burn. Good. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Nice. Killer. All right, guys. We're moving exercises. We are done with that one. I'm going to start us off with this next one. So remember, we're doing two push ups, two glute bridges. So with those glute bridges, if you by chance have some weight you want to place on your hips, go and do so. All right, guys, let's go. Two push-ups. Okay. So apparently, I got all the push-ups today. <laughs> all right, I two. I it that way. And two. All right, because she's rolling back over. We already went over that good push-up form. Remember the option. You can always come to your knees instead. And she's rolling over efficiently, pressing through the heels, squeezing the glutes to come all the way up and down, and then rolling right over. Beautiful. Remember those elbows are going back at an angle, not out to the side. We're breathing big through this. We got 10 seconds left, Rochelle. You got this. Let's see if she can get a couple more reps in. Really push yourself, challenge yourself here. Let's go finish off those glute bridges. Nice. Oh, and she holds until the end. That's a great way to push it that time even further. All right, guys. Note, we just did, did we just did, did, we just did a lot of push-ups. So if you want to do more booty work, switch up the ratios. You can do like 10 glute bridges and two push-ups if you'd like, if you'd like that extra booty work in. All right, then let's go. Going down to those push-ups. We're, we're modifying it. She's on her knees. I can barely She's talk. On her knees. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, give me two. Good. How many thrusts are we doing? How many do we want? We want 10. We got three. Let's do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good. Back on your front. Good. Oh, yeah. She's going for it. Another note with those hip thrusts, guys. If you're feeling it too much in your hamstrings rather than your glutes, try inching your feet a little bit closer to your body there. You'll target your glutes a lot more. Last one. Okay, last time. She's got this. She gets all the push ups because she's a rock star at them. All right, let's go. Okay, let's head into it. Like, let's use those full 40 seconds starting now. Let's go, let's go. We've got some Spice Girls to see us through. Keep breathing. How many are we going for here? I'm going to do 10. Nice. So we're going for a little bit more glute action. We did do a lot of push-ups earlier. It's totally up to you. That's the beauty of this uh, this workout here. You've you want to spice it up too. Ooh, okay, so this is an awesome variation as well. Try a couple on each side, make sure they're even. Make sure your hips aren't dipping from side to side as you lift one leg up. Just going back for those push-ups. Let's go for a couple more glute bridges here. Nice, remember you can go for that single leg. Woo, or you can finish it off, nice. Oh man. All right guys, that one is back, it's behind.
behind us. It's behind no us. No longer. Deb, you're going to go into this last one with us. Started us up strong. I'm very excited. This is one of my favorite exercises to do. It burns like crazy, but it's really fun. So, all right. So we are doing those low pulse squats. Try not to stand up this whole time. See how Devin is like setting her hips back. Another thing I want to focus on, turn to the side, Devin. Look at her hips. We don't have a curve here. It's very common that people start getting lower back injuries because they have a curve here. You want to focus on tucking those hips in, keep pulsing up and down. Nice work, guys. Make it more difficult next time by grabbing a weight. Oh, yeah. If this isn't hard enough, but this is pretty hard. Come on, almost there, and boom. All right. Okay, what are we making the legs a little shake. Woo. Rochelle's going for a nice single weight here. Bring it up the go. big guns. She's gonna hold it with her palms like a goblet. And we're gonna go like that. If you have two smaller weights, you can grab them and put them together. Nice, so she's right into it, nice and low here. As we said before, she's keeping her core tight so her back doesn't find that curve. Keep your hips tucked a little bit. Really press through those heels. Nice work, she's got it. Here's another challenge for you. Okay. <laughs> she's, no, it's okay. A lot of people really like to make their pulses really big. So I want you to just try to make them really, 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 really tiny. Like just one inch. Oh yes. Can I do it the whole time? Yeah, no. You got this, stay with it. We've got five seconds left. You can do anything for five seconds. Stay with it, three, two, one, nice. I know we've been saying, <laughs> I know we've been saying, don't stand up, but again, if that's too difficult, really try to aim for maybe a ratio of five pulses, then come up for that pool squat, then go back down into those pulses. But we are going to try to stay nice and low. Dev is challenging yourself with this week. That does not mean for that full 40 seconds, you have to hold on to it. If you guys are challenging yourself, but you find it too difficult to keep holding on, just drop set, drop that weight. Just get that final burnout. It's always better to see what you can push than being too afraid to try it. You can always take away weight. Woo! Why am I still breathing heavy? Five more seconds, guys, let's go. Woo! All right, grab some water. You guys smash that second pod. Oh, now we're gonna move in to our last pod of the night. All right, you guys should be pretty sweaty at this point. I don't know if our Zoom quality can tell, but I'm, I'm dripping. I don't wanna so. come close to the camera for that reason. So. <laughs> so make sure we grab some water. That's like our very first pod. We're going back to those supersets. So that last one you just did, we did three back to back. <laughs> Thank you. This one, we are doing our combo sets. So get ready. Nice, we're gonna go back and forth here. Thanks, we Miguel. We've still got some glute work. We've also got a Ooh. nice ab superset to finish us off. Um, I think Rochelle's going to jump into this one. Do I yeah, this yeah one. she is. Sure. Can we start us off strong? There we we'll go. <laughs> so just like the warm up, guys, we're going into frog squats. So wide stance. We're pushing those elbows on those knees, dropping those hips low, and then bringing them back up. Drop them low. Bring them back up. I'm gonna nice. do it from the side. We're dropping them low, bringing them back up. And Perfect. we are pausing at that top for a couple seconds here. Notice how low she's getting here. So she's coming all the way down with that full mobility. This might look a little different on you depending on the mobility of your hips as well. But really focus on using those elbows to press your knees out without hurting your joints at all. So we're pressing through our heels. We're engaging through our glutes to lift up. This is where the, ex uh, the burn is happening. And we're almost there. Three, two, one. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. That is fun. It is a fun burn. <laughs> I can't even stand. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So that was really difficult. If you guys want though, and that wasn't too tough for you, grab onto a weight and hold on to it. Deb, you want to try holding onto a weight? I'll do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's, Let's, go. Go. Let's, Let's start off with the next five kg. Okay. You're so kind to me. <laughs> All right, perfect. So just like how I was doing, she's still pushing.
pushing on to those knees, really focusing on dropping those hips low, coming to the ground, and then bringing them back up. So that bend in our knee is a nice 90 degree bend here. She's holding onto those weights, dipping herself down. Another thing I'd like to notice is how beautiful her neutral spine is. So she's not pushing her head forward. She's keeping a nice flat back and her head is in line with it. Keep it up. Five more seconds. Ooh. Yes, that's a fun one. That is super fun. Can I add a little bit of weight? She's doing it. Is she going? Is she going? She's going heavier. She's going heavier. I guess she's heavier. Going for maybe a ten. She's gonna go ten here. All right. So pulling out the big guns, guys. Rochelle's a superstar. So are you, babe. <laughs> We're very supportive here at F45. So, again, you can always start with that weight. Get to that point where you were feeling like a major burn and then you're feeling like maybe you can't last. Drop the weight and keep going without it. There's always an option to keep going. Think about it as one set at a time. One 40 second set, that's all you have to do. Focus on your form here. Notice her nice neutral spine. Really press through those heels. Keep breathing. Remember, we always tend to hold our breath. So keep it up. You're almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Get your legs a little shake. Woo. Heck yeah. All right, did I have to start us off on the next one? Okay. Huh? We are doing sumo squats. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. okay, so we're doing a sumo squat here, which means our feet are wider than a normal stance. Our toes are turned out. We're pressing out as we come down. We're keeping ourselves more upright than we would in a normal squat as well. I'm holding my hands here. You're welcome to hold the weight as well. Notice like that her knees are in line with her ankles as she's coming down. So really making sure we don't have them poke too far out or go inward, okay? Perfect. Nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should I add some weight here? She's going to add some weight. Maybe it will be nice. You nice? What do we want? What do we want? Let's give me a 10. Pick your pores in here. All right. Okay. Again, nice wide stance here, guys. Dropping low. Nice. So let's find a challenge this time. Let's find a pause at the bottom and then lift up. Only pause for about a second, two seconds, and then come back up. Just see how that changes things for you. Maybe it does give you that extra bit of challenge you were searching for. There we go. Nice. So keeping that engaged at the bottom, pressing all the way up. Nice. Keep it breathing. We're over halfway. We're only at 15 seconds left. Nice, really press through the heels. Don't let your knees cave in at any point. So always point them towards your toes. It's a nice rule of thumb here. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right guys, now you got those two exercises. We're gonna do those back to back. So we're gonna start off with those frog squats, finish off with those sumo squats. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. All right guys, remember, Push those elbows on those knees. Let's go. A full 40 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Ooh, this weight is We're getting that. Heavy. Oh, yeah. We're getting that glute burn. Again, Devin, let me know if you want a drop set. I'll pass you a lighter weight. But she's killing it so far. Keep it up. Woo. Keep breathing. Remember, we're getting to the end of the workout. Time to push it. You're almost there. You guys got less than 10 seconds left. Come on, keep going. Come on, Dan. You got three, two, one. Nice. All right, guys. I'm going to finish this off with those sumo squats. We're going for that super set. We're about to fight someone. Out. Here we go. She's getting the weight. Give me two. Give me two. Okay, she's I going crazy. <laughs> okay, right. let's hit it. Nice. So instead of adding a pause, this time she's adding a pulse. So same thing we did before. She's just finding a little pulse at the bottom before 
pressing back up. So you've got tons of options. You can pause, you can pulse, you can go all the way down, all the way up on a nice even tempo. It's up to you, but I encourage you to find the one that is most challenging for you, as long as you can maintain your form. Very important, we don't wanna go crazy and lose our form completely. So she's pushing it right here, and she's almost there. She's only got five seconds left. You guys have this in three, two. She's pulsing for the end, let's go! Woo! All right, guys, we're on to our very last combo set. So get ready, we're doing some ab work here. Whew. All right, guys, remember, we're doing five jackknives to two crunches. So with those jackknives, we aren't completely raising our stuff off of the floor. We're just gonna crunch up. See how Devin's making it a little bit easier. She's bending her knees in, or if you'd like to add that challenge, keep those legs nice and straight. And then after we complete five, we're setting those feet on the ground and we're doing two crunches. Really bringing ourselves up and crunch all the way. You wanna advance those crunches too. Feel free to complete a full sit up, bringing our chest all the way up to our knees. Good work, Deb. Thank you. I gave a lot of options there. Okay, right. so Rochelle's gonna jump into the next one here. So again, we're super setting this one, so we're gonna do a plank rotation here. So she's gonna hop down to her elbows. Notice her shoulders are right over top of her elbows. And she's gonna lift up and twist, turn her head toward the ceiling, reach that opposite arm. Nice. And she's gonna fight to keep her hips from coming up here. So if you have a buddy at home, you can have someone watch you. <laughs> nice, fight in there. So we should be feeling a, knot, a lot of heat in our core here. Maybe a couple shakes and quakes as well. If you're feeling a little heat in your shoulders, that's okay too. We are working more than just our core in this exercise. She's breathing. No, she's not moving super fast. She's finding control here. She's really working her core. We've got three seconds left. So let's go for that last one there. Nice work. Woo! All right, switching it up. Back to you, Deb. This one's a toughie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa, I get a little rest on the ground first. <laughs> so remember, we can make this a little bit more difficult, a little bit more easy. So with those crunches, make it more difficult, raise those feet, or put them on the ground, make it a little bit easier. So see, Devin, like raising those feet, you can do that, or you can set them on the ground. Or you can even do a full sit-up like she's doing here. Then going back into those jackknives right after she completes those crunches. Remember, you don't have to lift your whole upper body off of the ground. She's just doing a nice little crunch and tapping those shins. Perfect. Notice that she's keeping her core engaged and the movement is quite slow here. We're not making any jerking movements. We are really controlling that core the whole time through. Yes. Rochelle is heading back into that rotation. So again, if you are not feeling that rotation for whatever reason, you can always just hold the plank. So you're welcome to hold or you can throw that rotation back in. Again, remember, we're moving slowly here. We don't have to move super fast to get the burn in. As long as we are working the core, finding that mind-muscle connection here with the core. Nice. So this is a great option here, sitting on the side plank, reaching up and reaching underneath her waist. She's gonna do a couple here and then she's gonna switch sides. This is great to get your obliques working. So remember, this is just an option as well. You can choose whatever works today or whatever you wanna challenge yourself in. She's got a couple more on this side. She's gonna finish off just in time. Nice. Woo, woo. All right.
doing? Let's go. All right. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. You got five and two, five and two. Let's go. Or switch up the ratios, however you'd like. Guys, we have almost 10 seconds left. We're near the end. Come on, 10. Come on, let's go. Keep it up. Come on, three, two, one. Ow! All right. Give yourself a hand at home. Nice work, guys. That was double down. So this was more of a resistance-based workout. F45 is all about combining a little bit of both. So usually at Kids Point and everywhere, we have cardio-based sessions on that Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Our Friday is a little bit of cardio, but it's also mixed in with resistance. So it's called a hybrid. And then our resistance ones like today, that's usually our Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. So we'd love to see your beautiful faces at F45 Kids Point. If you guys are nervous to try it out, don't be. It's good for everyone. We have mixtures of people who have never stepped foot in the gym before. And we have people who are like professional athletes walking in. So you guys can really come in, make sure you feel comfortable. We're all very friendly faces. Would love to have you. If you guys are a little bit nervous on trying, but don't wanna make that full commitment, we do have a trial offer. So we have a seven day trial that you guys can always try out. See if it's for you. We'd love to see your face. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming out today, guys. And again, my name is Rochelle and this is Devin. We have a lots of other beautiful, amazing trainers at this studio. Yeah. And any last words, Dev? Uh, no, thank you so much for all of your hard work. We hope you enjoyed. Find a couple stretches before you go to sleep tonight and we'll see you soon in studio. Get a good post-workout meal in too. <laughs> Whether that be something you picked up at Choices, little plug. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining in, guys. It was nice to work out with you. See you later.